Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see how many people. Is this on my Instagram? Yeah, it's on your Instagram. Okay. All right. Let's see how many people is going to show up. Look at those hearts starting to show up. Hey, we need all the hearts. Um, so I just wanted to start this live by obviously talking about, and it's, it's sad. It's hard mm -hmm. just that it's had. And we wanted to get on here and address something because so many of you guys are living this life. So many of you guys feel like you're alone and that you're the only ones feeling this way, but so are we. Um, I think that, <clears throat> you know, we wanted to come on here tonight because now you're getting choked up. So if you cry, I cry. And I have the ugliest cry. Um, we wanted to come on here tonight um, because we have been affected by COVID. I've had COVID twice. Julie's had it twice. Um, my mother has had it. Our entire family has had it. Nick has had it, um, but the effect of COVID on so many people and the different effect that it has on so many people. And so we wanted to share with you tonight because we have had, um, in the last 48 hours, we have had some, some devastating, you know, um, incidents that have occurred and those um, involve our boy Nick. And um, Nick, would you like to share your story? Yeah, and um, I'm super grateful to be here today. Um, as Todd and Savannah mentioned, I recently went through COVID as well, and um, now reading a lot more about it, I kind of understand uh, why this situation might have happened that occurred the other night. Um, definitely not something that is easy to talk to, but I think that if I can share it, um, it could help somebody else out there as well. Uh, just the other night, I, um, you know, I've been, well, with COVID and some of the things that I've um, had from COVID, I've been on medication and um, I decided to mix alcohol with it to a, a point that- A lot of alcohol. A lot of alcohol uh, to a point that I don't remember anything that happened that night. Um, and I was in a full blackout. And um, luckily I had a haircut set up by my good friend, Chad. And if he wasn't there, I don't know if I would still be here today to be completely honest. Um, you know, I, I decided to, you know, I had a gun by me and I, I don't know where I was at in my mental state, but between the depression, anxiety, the, the COVID effects, the medication, the alcohol, I did something that I never thought I would ever do. And uh, to this day, I'm so grateful that I'm here today because of people like Savannah and Todd who, uh, and Chad who came to, to support me and love me like they did in that moment. So um, it's not easy to talk about. Uh, the reason why I'm talking about it too is because we live in a world full of social media and people wanting to be the first to, to break, you know, a story. break a story for their own benefit and TMZ wants to go ahead and do that. So why not beat them the punch and tell them the true story that it is. And uh, again, something that was completely out of my control that I let happen um, and something that now I can become a lot better for it and hopefully share with other people, you know, that will help them get through it as, as well if they're going through a tough time. So Savannah Chrisley's ex fiancee that is Nick Cadelli's has died from injuries which he actually sustained in a motorcycle accident early on on Saturday morning according to the WRKN news that actually came out to break this story. It's really very sad losing such a very young man um, in such a way which he was actually not expected. The Metropolitan Nashville Police, um, if according to the reports I'm seeing online here, uh, uh, the department that department actually came out and reportedly told uh, the Nashville station uh, that actually Nick who was a 29 year old ran through a stop sign in a residential area north of the Tennessee capital while on his Indian motorcycle at around 3 30 a.m. When you look at Nick's Instagram, he actually posted a photo that is of 19 years ago. He was on a motorcycle and this actually confirms that he was actually riding his motorbike uh, later on in the night. According to the outlet, <coughs> police said Nick hit the driver's side of the BMW who did not seem to be injured from the uh, incident but of course Nick was taken to a nearby hospital where he later 
died from. Um, Chris Lee's representative have not come out to respond to any request about this whole incident, but it's really very, very devastating because this whole incident just happened in a flash of a second, which actually takes us to what we always encourage people. When you're on a road, you have to take care of yourself because your health, your life is actually very, very important. Um, Nick and actually Chris Lee dated for, for a while, but uh, early on at the beginning of 2022, they announced that they had parted ways and each and everyone actually had to take a separate way. But of course, they remained close friends because they had a huge admiration towards each other. They were uh, really friends. So they remained friends and actually kept on even communicating at times in this moment in time all we are saying is continue resting in power the king that is nick cadelis